Black Queen. Failure ain't an option. You looking clean, clean, clean. Failure ain't an option. Hey guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, we're gonna do like a little crochet butterfly lock tutorial. So I'm just gonna jump right on in. As you can see, I blow dried my hair. Yes, we see the inches, we're not gonna talk about it. Um, so I'm just gonna show you guys the braid pattern that I'm doing for the crochet. Um, just so you guys know, I watched another tutorial on this by Crowned K, and this is pretty much gonna be the same exact tutorial. It's, it's black and white, it's very simple. It's gonna be the same exact thing, so if you've seen this already, shout out to her. There's about to be the same exact video. So anyways, I'm just gonna show you guys how I did the braid pattern. This is my first time ever doing this type of crochet braid pattern. And I'm not the best braider, but we made it do what it do, baby. So, you know, it's very simple. I'm using the shine and jam to just kind of get my roots to slick down just a little bit so that it looks nice and neat. And then I'm gonna do like single plaits or braids, I don't know, plaits. Um, and then just join them into the back plait. So you're gonna have a single plait like this. I did a little bit of extra space, like maybe an inch and a half or two down. And then I'm gonna use that front plait and then just bring it into um, the second plait or braid. I really don't know the difference, but you guys can see what's happening here. So I went ahead and did a second row off camera just to make sure I knew what I was doing and I think I got the hang of it. So I'm gonna show you guys one more time. So we're just gonna part back another section. Now on each row, I did a different amount. Like the first row, I did two sections. The second row, I did three sections. And now this third row, I believe I'm doing four different sections, like four different parts. So I'm going to go ahead and braid that first part back with about an inch down and then I'm going to add it into the second braid in the back. I said do a second part and then just add it into that braid. I hope that makes sense, but I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory, especially if you're watching the video, you can kind of see exactly what I'm doing. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the back. For the first braid, I did six braids in the back of my head. For the first braid, I'm gonna combine these two braids since they're a little bit smaller and just um, add them into one braid in the back of my head like so. And then with the next braid, I'm gonna braid it like three quarters of the way down or about halfway down. And then when I get to that halfway or three quarter spot, I'm going to add the first braid into it and then make it kind of like join in and connect as like one big family. And I'm gonna do that for the rest of my hair. Like every time I get down with one braid, I'll add in the tail of that braid into the braid that's next to it. <laughs> I hope that makes sense, but I'm gonna show you guys one more time so that you can understand. See, I'm adding the tail of that braid down into this, that last braid so that it'll all just kind of like be woven together. Braiding down, then adding that braid into that family right there so that it all kind of just ends up being one big braid instead of having six braids in the back of my head. So now I'm gonna use this last tail braid and just use my crochet hook to crochet it into the other braid so that it can conceal the end of that braid. So I'm just crocheting it into my braids and it'll be nice and secure. You don't have to worry about it slipping out, you're good. So this is what the back of my head looks like. I'm a little impressed, it's a little bulky, but I'm kinda impressed with myself because I don't be braiding like that, you know what I'm saying? So um, round of applause for me. So now onto these beauties. These are the Toyo Tress Butterfly Lock Crochet Hair. I got them in a 12 inch, they're in a color 1B. They're pre-twisted, they're distressed, so you can see like the nice like boho look. And they're pre-looped. I got them in a pack of eight, and I used, I wanna say I used seven, six or seven of the packs, I have like a pack left. But these, oh my God, these crochets are so pretty. So we're gonna go ahead and install them into my hair now. So like I said, they are pre-looped, so um, I just go ahead and put my crochet needle through the braid. I'm gonna talk more about this later because after a while, that loop stopped fitting through the sections that I had. So you see me kind of struggling. You kind of have to use some elbow, elbow grease and kind of like wiggle it through. And then I just pull my hair through the loop or pull the crochet hair through the loop and pull it nice and tight. 
and then you have your crochet braid and it kind of looks like it's an actual like part you know what I'm saying like the braid pattern makes it look way more realistic instead of it looking so crochet -y, you know because that's kind of going out of style but with this new pattern it makes it look like these are actual individual um, crochets I mean individual dreads instead of like crochet you know what I'm saying Okay, so after some trial and error, I realized that trying to pull it through the actual part of the section that I made, it was just not, there wasn't enough space. So I started actually putting the crochet through the actual like spacing of the braids and that worked out a lot better. Um, <laughs> I just had to do what I had to do because it was not fitting anymore. Like the loops were too thick for like how thin and how small my parts were so I was like alright we're gonna improvise so yeah I just started crocheting them onto like the little braids instead of pulling them through the actual parts I'm not sure if that's probably how it's supposed to be done this whole time but that's not what I started off doing and I feel like my hair was snapping off so that is um, the technique that I'm using just crocheting them to the braids instead of pulling them through the parts and with the back of the hair I'm doing the same thing I'm just crocheting it right through my braid I'm not going underneath the whole entire braid. I'm just going kind of through parts of the braid, as you can see. And the crochet dreads are thick enough to really cover the back of your head. Like, I had no spaces back there. So it's not like see-through. It's very um, full. So you don't have to worry about the back of your head. Like, the wind blows and, like, all your parts are showing and your braids are showing. It's definitely got you covered. So don't even worry about that. Alright, so honestly, that is it. We are pretty much done. I want to say this hairstyle, it took maybe two and a half hours to do. I say like an hour and change to do the braiding and then crocheting my hair probably just took like an hour. It was so fast. So I just want to go ahead and show you the back. Like I said, it covered. Nice and thick, nice and full. So, uh, you know, then the next day I just went ahead and put on some eyelashes and some eyebrows and... The girl is back. She is back. She is back. I'm really enjoying this hairstyle. I just went ahead and did my edges up a little bit. And then I'm just going to show you, you know, a couple of hairstyles that you can do with these crochet dreads. Um, it's definitely very versatile. You can wear it on any side. You can do a middle part. You can do either side of the side parts. I'm definitely a huge fan of the side part. Middle part is kind of cute too, but the side part is where it's at for me. You know what I'm saying? And then, of course, you know, we have to do the basic half up, half down because it's not a crochet hairstyle if you don't do the half up, half down. Okay, that's that's what the girls are killing with the crochet hairstyle. So I went ahead and did that. And you can bring your little two little parts in the front and bring them over so you can have like the side thing in the front. Just be cute, sis. We're cute out here. So I want to do one other thing that I kind of just made up because this is how I went to sleep. And then when I woke up, I was like, oh, this is cute. So I'm turning it into a hairstyle. So it, it's definitely giving me like dread vibes when I wear it like this. Like I feel like if I had real dreads, I would wear my hair like this a lot. So I just put it up in a bandana and then pull two little pieces out. And then it's just giving what it was supposed to have gave. And <laughs> it is what it is. So yeah, I just really want to thank you guys for watching this video. Shout out to Toyo Tresses for sending me this beautiful crochet distressed butterfly locks. Please look in the description box. I have so much information down below of where you can get these crochets. And we are also doing a giveaway. So I want you to go ahead, go ahead and check out the description box and find out all the information down there. I love you guys so much and thank you for watching. Bye. another one <sighs> well I really hope you guys enjoyed this video okay bye <laughs> <laughs>